In this video, we are going to discuss about interface. What is the interface? How to use it? And we'll take one example uh, to understand the interface implementation in Delphi. The interface is a type, just like a class is the type. Like a class interface also have method. And whenever the interface you implement or inherit into a class, we have to give the definition of all the methods that are available in the interface. Interface offers some of the advantage of the multiple inheritance without the semantic difficulties. A class can in implement multiple interface, right? So that way we achieve the uh, multiple inheritance in Delphi, right? Because we can't inherit the multiple classes in, in, in any of the class. So we can uh, inherit multiple in interface in a class. The type interface is also a type. So interface name equal to interface and uh, we can write the ancestor method uh, so within the interface uh, we can also inherit the interface right so in a interface we can also inherit interface and after that guid globally unique identifier and we can declare here the list of the members right all the members are all the procedures method right that we can say that the function and procedure we can list down here so as you know that interface we cannot uh, give the definition of all those methods right so we have once we will inherit that interface into a class we can give the definition of those method member list can include only the method and property because field are not allowed in the interface since an interface has no field property read and write is specifier must be a method so through read and write only through method we can get it all members are interface are public. Visibility specifier and storage specifier are not allowed. Interface have no constructor and destructor because interface we cannot create an instance of the uh, interface. So uh, and the destructor is not uh, allowed because interface have the mechanism to destroy their object. They cannot be instantiated. Uh, interface cannot be instantiated except through the class that implement their method. Method cannot be declared as a virtual dynamic abstract or override. Since interface method cannot be, uh, uh, we can't give the definition, we can't write the, write the logic in the interface uh, methods. So there is no meaning of declaring a interface uh, method as a virtual dynamic abstract. We have the calling convention for the interface also, like how we have calling convention for the method. So similar way, we have the calling convention for the interface. The, the default calling convention for the interface is the register, but the interface shares along the modules, right? Should be declared all the method with the std call. Interface property there and forward declaration also we have an interface declaration forward declaration how we have the class forward declaration so suppose uh, we we can uh, declare any of the interface right uh, suppose we, uh, without before declaring the interface right we can uh, use that interface in a, any of the interface right so we can declare like this uh, i like, suppose i am declaring interface i control right equal to interface we are not writing any of the method of this interface i control but Later, we will write the method after the I windows interface. But I control interface reference we are giving in the I windows, right? So before actual uh, declaration of the interface, we want to use that interface into some other interface, then this is called the forward declaration. And uh, class declaration uh, how to declare a class and uh, then we can inherit the interface so like we can write a class name equal to class and we can write all the interface so uh, to uh, inherit the interface we have to use the t interface object class we need to inherit it let's move to the uh, delphi part where we will uh, try to understand the interface how to write how to inherit the interface in a class so here I have created one UI application, just one button and button click, we will try to access the interface. So I have created one interface, test interface one, equal to interface. This is the one, in, this is the my interface. And in this interface, I have declared a method, get info one, 
right? The second interface I have declared here that I test interface to equal to interface and get info to is the method, right? Now I have two interface and I am declaring a class to imply class where I am going to inherit these two interface. So what I need t imply class equal to class t interface object is the this is the diff, uh, this is the imprint uh, class where there uh, 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 that uh, memory management of the interface is uh, written. So there is the basically three method right is there that we'll discuss. I interface object here I have here I'm inheriting I interface object I interface one and I interface two two interface I'm inheriting in the T imply class and suppose we are inheriting the I interface one and I, inter I test interface two right so these two interface method also we need to write it here and give the definition that is must so I interface one I test interface one method we have get info one right i test interface two the method name is get in get info two right so this method also i have written in this class now we have to give the definition of this so just i have mentioned the so message i am putting okay so that we can understand it when we call it which method is getting called and on the button click just on the button click i will try to access so i have created an instance of t imply class so t imply class here i have taken a variable object of t imply class i am creating an instance of the imply class here and assigning to the object right obj and after that obj dot i am trying to access so i have i am able to access the, these two method that is available in the T imply class get uh, get info one and get info two right so here i am able to access let's run and see it how it is working so here we are able to uh, fetch the get info one and from the imply class get info two right now what we will do we can take a object of interface type also right so suppose i am taking the i interface object one okay declare a variable of i interface one right and i can create the object of t imply class and assign to this object right and this object is what now it's a type of i test interface one type now when i will try to call with this object obj we will able to access only the get info one we will not able to access the get info two right because this is the object of type of i test interface one right so it's a static time it will define so we'll see it here i test interface one we have only one method get interface one that's why we are able to get here with the obj we are able to get only the get info one so this get info two is not accessible and the free and nil is not required because the this is the object of this variable is object of the i interface so interface we don't have any constructor destructor right because the memory management it do it internally so for this we have the three interface that is declared into the interface object so it manages the memory object reference okay let's run it so here we are able to access the get info right this is the one not two so this is all about the interface <laughs>